good morning students so today let us study the topic characteristics of embedded systems okay so whenever you want to design an embedded system or whenever you want to buy an embedded system you should consider these following characteristics of embedded systems the first characteristic is embedded systems are application and domain specific when i say applic embedded systems are application specific that means the control circuit and the software that is used in a particular embedded system for example air conditioner it cannot be used for controlling any other embedded system for example the circuit and the software of air conditioner cannot be used for the refrigerator it will not work for the refrigerator because the hardware and the software of the air conditioner is specifically designed to control the air conditioner only so that is why we say that embed systems are application specific okay then what do we mean by domain specific domain means area so the embed systems are domain specific also that is the control circuit that is used in one particular area for example the control circuits that are used in the embed systems of a medical field they cannot be used to control the embed systems of automotive sector okay because they both are different in nature that is why we say that embed systems are application and domain specific then the next characteristic is embed systems are reactive and real time what do you mean by reactive so whenever i give input to the embed system the embed system will have sensors to sense the external inputs and they are going to process that input and generate some output to control some physical variable that is why whenever an input is given to the embed system the embed system is going to process the input and it is going to produce some output so it is going to react to the given inputs that this is what we call it as it is reactive in nature embed systems are reactive in nature then real time means some of the embed, embed systems are real time in nature for example the satellite guidance system is real time in nature that means real time means whenever i give an input to the embed system the embed system should process that input then it should produce the output within the specified maximum time limit so in a satellite the guidance system should produce the guiding output coordinates within few milliseconds or microseconds otherwise the satellite may be lost so this is a real time system okay now i also have a toy car for example it is remote control operated so whenever i press the remote the car is going to the remote control toy car is going to move now suppose there is something some problem occurs in the car when i press the remote the car may move or it may not move but nothing no damage is going to occur such systems where which is there is no time constraint to produce the output they are called as non real time okay they are not real time okay so this is the second characteristics of embed system so embed systems are reactive in nature and some of them are also real time in nature they should produce the output within a specified time limit and the third characteristics of embed system is embed systems operate in harsh environment okay harsh in the sense the environment in which the embed systems are going to operate there may be high humidity there may be heavy temperature high temperature there may be extreme cold there may be vibrations there may be shock waves so whenever i want to design an embed system i should make sure that the kind of environment where the embed system is going to operate okay my embed system is going to work properly in such kind of environment for example there may be high temperatures there may be severe cold or there may be vibrations or there may be shocks shock waves coming in okay so you should design the embed system which is going to withstand all such environment okay so before designing embed system you should consider the environment where the embed system is going to be deployed suppose embed system is going to be deployed in a high temperature environment then for designing such an embed system you should consider the components which have high temperature grade okay so 
you should be very careful while designing the embed system because embed systems are going to be used in varying kind of environmental conditions. Okay. Then embed systems are distributed in nature. What do you mean by distributed? Distributed means some of the embed systems they are part of a larger embed system. For example, I have an ATM machine, automatic teller machine. Okay. So, this ATM machine inside it has got number of embed systems. For example, when I go to an ATM, I will insert my card first. There is an embed system called card reader which is going to read my card and it is going to validate whether I am a valid customer of that particular bank or not. Okay. So, the card reader is going to validate the user. Okay. The user is going to enter the PIN, the card reader is going to read the, all the information from the card, then it is going to check whether he is a genuine customer of that particular bank or not. Then after the validation is done, the consumer, the customer is going to enter the amount of cash you want to withdraw. Then there is a transaction in it. This is another embed system which is going to perform the transaction okay, with the bank server. Then the, there is a cash vending system which is going to count the number amount of cash that the user wants to withdraw then it is going to dispense the cash okay this is cash vending system then we have a printing system which is going to print the transaction on a piece of paper so in an ATM machine there are four embedded systems one is the card reader the other one is the transaction unit then there is a cash vending system then there is a printer all these small embedded systems together they work to function as an automatic teller machine. Even though ATM is an example for embed system, inside it has again distributed embed system which are going to work together to perform the function of ATM. Okay, that is the meaning of distributed. Some of the embed systems will be distributed in nature, just like your ATM, or some of the embed systems will be standalone. Okay. Then we have the next characteristic that is the embed systems are small in size and they have less weight okay they should have less weight so for example whenever i want to buy a new mobile i'm going to do a survey in the market and i'll go through different brands of mobile and i'll search for a mobile which has a small size okay then which is going to weigh less so that it is easy for me to handle that so this is called as aesthetics aesthetics means how the product or embed system looks like okay what is the weight of that okay what is the size of that? These things are called as aesthetics. So whenever consumer wants to buy a new embed system, the consumer will go through with the product aesthetics. Okay, so you should be designing an embed system which is which is small in size and which is which weighs less. Okay, that is called as the embed systems are small in size and they should weigh less. Okay, this is the next characteristics of embedded system. And the last characteristics of embed system is about the power. Okay, so embed systems, as we all know, they have internal circuit. They need power supply to function. So now I should design embed system such that it consumes less power. Okay, because most of the embed systems are battery operated in nature. Okay, so they should be power efficient. If they consume more power, then there is a need for charging the battery again and again. Okay, this should not happen. So I should design an embed system such that it consumes less power. Okay, and also embed systems they have internal circuit for controlling the system, and they produce some amount of heat. They should be provisioned for dissipating that heat that is generated in the embed system. For example, I may install a small fan to dissipate the heat that is generated in the embed system. Okay, so you should be very very careful about the power consumption and how we are going to dissipate the heat that is generated in the embedded system. This is about the power requirement of the embedded system. So these are the different characteristics of embedded system that I should be <coughs> looking at when I want to buy a new embedded system or also as a designer when I want to design an embedded system. Okay, You should look into all these characteristics of embedded system. Okay, so. What are the characteristics of embed system? Embed systems are application and domain specific. They are reactive in real time. They react to the inputs. They operate in harsh environment. They are distributed in nature. 
small size and weight and about the power okay so these are the characteristics of embedded systems thank you